so it is pretty late in the day. It is five o'clock in the evening, and I am just getting the camera on. <laughs> we, um, oh, one of my lights is burning. Hi. We have just been taking the last few days to get readjusted back into our house and resettled in and all that good stuff. So I was gonna go out today and get some coffee, but um, Olivia lost my keys. <laughs> So we went on a mad key hunt, and I ended up finding them in an, uh, not an empty, a full box, full unopened box of diapers. So uh, lesson learned, Olivia likes to hide keys in diapers, the diaper boxes, and that right girl. So today has been a whole lot of feeding babies and searching for keys and trying to get the house back together. So um, Kino, Olivia? Do not hit him with that. I'm gonna take it from you if you hit him again, okay? Um, and trying to keep Olivia from terrorizing our poor dog. So yeah. No, get that out of your mouth. So I brought back a bunch of seashells for Olivia and those cute spiral ones. Olivia calls them ice cream cones. So she's trying to eat them, but. Yeah, I have to figure out what we're doing for dinner. Do you guys ever go out of town? So we went out of town on, we left t Thursday morning, right? And my mom was here from Wednesday until Monday. And, um, uh-oh, we dropped a bottle. My mom was here from Wednesday to Thursday, or to Monday. And I left a bunch of food here, obviously, for everybody to eat while we were gone. But now that I'm home, there's still a good bit of food here, but I feel like it's all bad. Do you guys ever do that? Like, you can't remember what's good and what's bad. Like, I feel like I can't even remember what happened yesterday in my life. So, I went to look in the refrigerator, and um, there's, like, a bunch of leftover foods, but I don't know what's good and what's not. So, I feel like I just need to throw it all out and start over. But I also don't want to do that. I'd like to just eat it if I can. So, I don't know. I'm totally just rambling. Your shell, you drop it. Get it. You get it. Oh. Get it, mommy. You get it, Lippy. <laughs> Go get it. It's behind the couch. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep pulling? But we had such a good time. I spent most of yesterday missing the beach. You found your troll, yay! Yay! Um, Cause I got like so used to our little routine of like waking up, going on the beach, um, you know, cooking dinner. Good girl! Cooking dinner. And then like we would always go back onto the beach for um, like an evening walk and just to watch the sunset and pick up shells and stuff like that. And so all day yesterday I was like, <laughs> but I'm happy to be back with my babies. I miss them. Um, even though they've, she has been driving me a little bit crazy. Kino, did you miss us? Did you miss us while we were gone? Hmm? I got it. You got it. I got it. You. Ready? Go! Ready? You can't throw it and then say, oh no, like you didn't mean to. I think I need an afternoon cup of coffee. I am so tired. So I'll show you guys what I've been doing for coffee. It's a little bit ridiculous. Hey, come on, light. It's a little bit crazy, but um, you know, it's just what I've been craving lately. So I'm really liking the Dunkin' Donuts original blend right now. Although I do have hazelnut too, and I think it would also be really good with what I'm about to do. So. Filter, I gotta rinse it out real quick. Then I'm taking my coffee, pouring it in here. Sticking it in the Keurig. Now this is where it gets kind of like, Kayla, what are you doing with your life? Been taking this double, double cocoa hot chocolate, and I've been taking a scoop of that and putting it in my coffee cup. Like a hefty scoop, like, and then brew my coffee over it 
and it's kind of like a homemade mocha without the espresso, it's just coffee instead, but um, it's helping with my sweet tooth craving and um, it's cheaper than going to Starbucks to get coffee. So I think it would probably taste okay too if I added ice to it, but I haven't done that yet, I've just been drinking it and part of me wishes the coffee taste was a little bit stronger, but... Pulled out my handy dandy rice cooker last night and made some no. jasmine rice. No. And I think I might do it again for dinner tonight. No. Because it was good. No. We had uh, tilapia no. with the veggies no. and jasmine rice last night, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Ben seems to always have something to say about what I cook, but hey, unless he's gonna get in here and cook, I'm just gonna keep on doing what I want. Drop in bottles. Yep, you did. You both did. Dude, you are soaked. What did you do? You look like you're wearing a bib. And you, sir, what happened? What happened to you? What happened? Hold on, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Calm down. There you go. You got a quick kick in your pillow out from underneath you. I feel like they look so much more alike now. Like in that four, almost five days that we were gone, they just look so much more alike. A few things. Um, let me turn this movie down. So I think I'm dealing with some sort of gluten intolerance or some sort of food allergy and I'm not, I can't quite pinpoint what it is. And I know that you all are about to roll your eyes at that because I just made this coffee which is probably full of some sort of gluten or horrible stuff, especially like dairy and all that good stuff. But I need to start trying to figure out what it is because after I eat certain foods, I blow up like a little bullfrog. Like I look legitimately pregnant and my hair is still falling out like really bad. And someone mentioned to me that I might have hypothyroidism, which can be triggered by pregnancy. So I need to talk to my doctor about that, make an appointment, because they th said that like fatigue, hair loss, and like stomach issues are some signs. So I need to make an appointment for a checkup. And I also don't know what I'm cooking for dinner, but I'll figure it out. No sucker. It's pretty gross. That's yes. it's not sucker thing. Yes. Yeah. I am going to continue unloading the dishwasher. And then I gotta wash bottles, which is like my life basically. Let's just go 
like your house doesn't belong to you, belongs to your kid. Like no matter how many times you clean it, they just immediately come behind and destroy. you guys my nose is peeling like crazy from that well I guess you guys didn't see it but I got really badly sunburned on like one side of my face one of the days we were in Florida and um, now my face is like peeling you want to come do these puzzles at the table and come sit and do your puzzles come on so um, I got this learning kit from a good friend of mine like before Olivia was even a year old, I think. And I pulled them out yesterday, hey, not really thinking Olivia would be very good at them, but girlfriend is killing it. Show everybody how smart you are, okay? Now find where they go, okay? Right here. Good job. Right here, right here. Yep. You gotta turn it around, flip it around. Like this. Flip it like that. There you go. <laughs> Good job. She doesn't quite understand, like, because obviously the way she had that first was right. It was like right side up, but this hump here was on this side, so. Right here. Yes, it does. Can you say in? Mm. Yep, flip it around. Flip it around. See how this hump is right here? It's right here. Gotta flip it this way. This. Good, Liv! It's so smart! Uh-oh. Thank you. 